this is Dr. Mamta Sharma, Organizing Secretary for the International Short Term Training Program ISTTP1 with the chosen topic on Recent Advances in Environmental Toxicology and Wildlife Conservation, a 7 days training program scheduled to be held from 22nd to 28th March 2022. Signing in from the campus of Raj Rishi Government Autonomous College Alwar, which is popularly known as RRC. On the behalf of our patron and principal and from the organizing committee, I welcome you all to the curtain raiser of ISTTP1. Aap sabhi ka is ISTTP1 ke curtain raiser mein bahut bahut swagat hai, abhinandan hai. Gyan aur vani ke bina sansar ki kalpna karna bhi asabhav hai aur Mata Saraswati inki devi hai. Maa Saraswati ko samas gyan, sahitya, sangeet aur kala ki devi maana jata hai. Maa Saraswati ki aadna karte hui hum is curtain region ki shuruaat karte hai. For all the delegates who are joining from the different parts of the world, a translation in English for what I said above. In India, Maa Saraswati is known as goddess of knowledge, wisdom and education and we are beginning the curtain raiser by remembering her, worshipping her. Varde Veena Vadini Varde Priya Swatantra Amrat Mantra Nav Bharat Me Varde Varde Veena Vadini Varde It's a matter of pride and pleasure for our RRC community that we have received overwhelming response from all over the world. We have nearly 2,500 registrations as of now and still few days to go, remember. 30 countries with us and we have 29 keynote speakers in an exhaustive training of 7 days who will discuss recent research trends in environmental toxicology and wildlife conservation. Let me get you acquainted with the countries who are joining us in this ISTTP1. Vietnam, China, USA, Canada, Egypt, Philippines, Morocco, Albania, Nigeria, Brazil, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Sierra Leone, Guinea Bissau, Indonesia, Ethiopia, Cameroon, South Africa, Malaysia, Tanzania, Nepal, Sri Lanka, South Africa, Spain, Algeria, United Arab Emirates, Bhutan and of course the host country India. Let me tell you about our institution. Raj Rishi College Alwar is one of the premier colleges of the state of Rajasthan. It is co-educational, postgraduate and a research institute and the only autonomous college in the government sector of Rajasthan. It was established in 1930 by His Highness of Alwar, Raj Rishi Maharaja Jai Singh Ji to empower the people of his town through education. He was an educationist and entrepreneur the college has proudly completed 91 years of glorious existence with a student strength of 4,000 and faculty strength of 68 in number. ISTTP1 is happening under the auspices of RUSA, the Rashti Uchita Shiksha Abhiyan. Let me tell you something about it as well. Revolutionizing Higher Education India, that what RUSA is meant for. The Rashtri Uchita Shiksha Abhiyan is the central government contribution to further the promise held by the rich expense of India's state universities. The country's future lies in empowering these campuses with all it takes to enhance learning, better research and promote innovation. A centrally sponsored scheme, Rusa understands that sometimes the most important lessons of life are learned outside the classrooms. So whether it is upgrading libraries or computer laboratories or promoting autonomous college or clubbing them to consolidate their strength and forming cluster universities, this program realizes that every institution holds the power to enrich lives through top class education. What made me design this series of international trainings based on environmental conservation? I will start with a quote. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. Benjamin Franklin said that none of us can deny the importance of training in our lives and we all understand it that very well. 
Being an environmental toxicologist by profession, I always believed that sustainable development is that which meets the need of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs. That means we have borrowed this environment from our great ancestors to live in and we are supposed to transfer it to our future generation to meet their needs in the same form as we have received it from our great grand ancestors without polluting it or destroying it. This thought has pushed me and today I am here in front of you. Over the years, environmental toxicology research has been providing tools and citing evidence to policymakers and the public in preventing substantially greater environmental degradation including adverse human health impacts. The ultimate goal of ecotoxicology is to reveal and predict the effects of pollution within the context of all other environmental factors. Based on this knowledge, the most efficient and effective actions to prevent or remediate any detrimental effect can be identified. As a part of the world ecosystem, wildlife provides balance, stability to nature's process. The goal of the wildlife conservation is to ensure the survival of these species and to educate people on living sustainably with other species. The conservation of wildlife is necessary for the prevention of drought, new deserts, fires as well as flood. Also this conservation ensures that upcoming generations of human and wildlife can be surrounded by nature thereby loving it and understanding the significance of wildlife. Also, wildlife act as a gene pool for various resistant strains of pest causing the diseases which is very harmful for the human population. By conserving wildlife, we are ensuring that future generations can enjoy our natural world and the incredible species that live within it. So it's very simply we can say, it's the matter of tools. You can kill a person by souls. Some leaders have the capacity to transform vision into reality and there are times when we need some inspiration to uplift and motivate us and this is how RRC is blessed today and being nurtured in the great leadership of our principal. Three things which makes him a great leader are his benevolent character, his patience and his humility. He is the driving force behind the training program and without his support Trust me, this training would have never ever have happened. Now we have a message from our patron, our head of the institution, Dr. Vikram Singh Ji, Principal RRC Al. International short term training program on topic recent advances in environmental toxicology and wildlife conservation. Ye hamari ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम 22 से 28 मार्च 2022 को हम इसको प्रारंभ कर रहे हैं मुझे खुशी है कि इस प्रोग्राम को के लिए आ, मैं जो आज वीडियो शूट कर रहा हूं आज फागुन शुक्ला नवमी विक्रम संवत 2078 मृक्षरा नक्षत्र आयुष्मान योग में ये प्रारंभ हम इसका श्री गणेश हम इसका कर रहे हैं और मैं विघ्नो विनाशक गणेश जी महाराज से प्रार्थना करूंगा कि ये हमारा कार्य सफलतापूर्वक संपन्न हो इस अवसर पर जो भी इस वीडियो को देख रहे हैं जितने भी डेलीगेट्स हमसे जुड़े हैं और जुड़ेंगे 22 से 28 मार्च तक उन सभी का मैं राजस्थान के एकमात्र स्वायत्त शासी महाविद्यालय राजऋषि महाविद्यालय परिवार की ओर से आप सभी का हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूँ स्वागत करता हूँ राजऋषि महाविद्यालय जैसा मैंने कहा राजस्थान का एकमात्र ऑटोनोमस कॉलेज है ये राजस्थान और अलवर के लिए गर्व की बात है ये महाविद्यालय आज़ादी से पूर्व 1930 में हिजाई ने सलवर महाराज जयसिंह द्वारा शिक्षा उच्च शिक्षा को बढ़ावा देने के लिए आ, सरकार को डोनेट कर दिया गया था 1930 से लेकर और आज तक 
लगभग 91 वन वर्ष इसको हो चुके हैं तब से लेकर और आज तक पराधीन भारत से लेकर और स्वतंत्र भारत के इस इक्यानवे साल के इतिहास में इस महाविद्यालय ने देश को सभी क्षेत्रों में चाहे वो शिक्षा का क्षेत्र हो आध्यात्मिकता का क्षेत्र हो आर्थिक क्षेत्र हो सामाजिक क्षेत्र हो राजनीतिक क्षेत्र हो सभी क्षेत्रों में बड़ी बड़ी प्रतिभाओं को यहाँ से शिक्षा ग्रहण कर कर वो राज देश की सेवा में तत्पर हैं ये हमारे लिए गर्व की बात है हाल ही 9 और 10 मार्च को 2021 में विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग नई दिल्ली द्वारा एक टीम को यहाँ भेजा गया था जिसने अपनी रिपोर्ट प्रस्तुत की और ये बड़े गौरव की बात है कि आगामी पाँच वर्ष सत्र पच्चीस छब्बीस तक के लिए हमारे इस महाविद्यालय को यूजीसी ने एक्सटेंशन यानी ऑटोनोमस एक्सटेंशन की शक्तियाँ और स्वीकृति प्रदान की है बड़े गर्व की बात है कि मेरे इस महाविद्यालय के जूलॉजी विभाग मैं कार्यरत एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर ममता शर्मा लगातार जैसा कि उच्च शिक्षा के लिए जरूरी है रिसर्च उस क्षेत्र में लगातार काम कर रही हैं ये महाविद्यालय परिवार के लिए गर्व की बात है मैं उन्हें धन्यवाद देता हूँ प्रोफेसर ममता शर्मा ने पिछले वर्ष 15 दिसंबर से 18 दिसंबर तक फोर डेज ऑनलाइन इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस आयोजित किया था जिसका विषय था मल्टी डिसप्लिनरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एंड सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट आफ्टर द कोविड उन्नीस पैंडेमिक मुझे गर्व महसूस हो रहा है कि हमारी इस इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस में पंद्रह रजिस्ट्रेशन हुए एक विद्वानों ने अपने पेपर्स का प्रेजेंटेशन किया और चार हजार लोगों ने अपना फीडबैक प्रस्तुत किया इस कॉन्फ्रेंस का जो एब्स्ट्रैक्ट जो पब्लिश हुई थी उसमें भी 280 लोग सम्मिलित थे और खुशी की बात है कि इस हमारी इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस जो 15 से 18 दिसंबर 2021 को आयोजित हुई थी इसमें 23 कंट्रीज पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द कॉन्फ्रेंस जिनमें नाइजीरिया नामीबिया इथोपिया पाकिस्तान यूएसए फिलीपाइंस चाइना बांग्लादेश इजिप्ट यूनाइटेड किंगडम कनाडा श्रीलंका स्विट्जरलैंड साउथ कोरिया भूटान नेपाल तंजानिया स्वीडन यू मलेशिया डेनमार्क ओमान और इंडिया सम्मिलित थे और बहुत बड़ा अचीवमेंट इस कॉन्फ्रेंस का ये है कि टोटल आठ बुक्स आर अंडर पब्लिकेशन इंटरनेशनली जॉइंटली फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड कनाडा बुक नंबर एक एनवायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन ए थ्रेट टू ह्यूमन लाइफ बुक नंबर दो एनवायरमेंट द ग्लोबल सेनारियो बुक नंबर तीन Imaging, Emerging Trends in Sustainable Development. Book number चार COVID-19 Pandemic a Disaster. Book number पाँच Multidisciplinary Approach Towards Pharmacology. Book number सिक्स Recent Advances in Science and Technology. Book number सेवन Recent Advances in Science and Economics. Book number एट Recent Advances in Science and Learning Techniques. एक गर्व की बात है महाविद्यालय परिवार के लिए कि आठ बुक्स इसकी इस कॉन्फ्रेंस की बहुत शीघ्र आप सबके समक्ष विश्व समाज के सामने आने वाली है ये पहले ही हमने इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑनलाइन हमने इसको किया था और अब दूसरा हमारा कदम जिसके लिए ये वीडियो शूट किया जा रहा है रिसेंट एडवांस इन एनवायरमेंटल टॉक्सिकोलॉजी एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन 22 से 28 मार्च 2022 को सेवन डे ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम हम ये ऑनलाइन करने जा रहे हैं 
खुशी की बात है कि इस ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम में भी संसार भर से 2413 2413 रजिस्ट्रेशन हो चुके हैं इस सात दिवसीय जो हमारा ये प्रोग्राम है ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम इसमें 37 हम आयोजित करेंगे और और खुशी की बात कि इसमें 30 कंट्रीज पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं इनमें वियतनाम चाइना यूएसए कनाडा इजिप्ट फिलीपींस मोरक्को अल्बानिया नाइजीरिया ब्राजील बांग्लादेश पाकिस्तान सऊदी अरबिया यमन सीरिया लियोन गुनिया बिशोन इंडोनेशिया इथोपिया कैमरून साउथ अफ्रीका मलेशिया तंजानिया नेपाल श्रीलंका स्पेन अल्जीरिया यू भूटान और इंडिया इस प्रकार थर्टी कंट्रीज इस में शिरकत करेंगे ये न केवल हमारे महाविद्यालय अपितु राजस्थान अपितु उच्च शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में एक कीर्तिमान होगा ए टोटल थर्टी वन स्पीकर्स इस ट्रेनिंग को संबोधित करेंगे जिनमें इस प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर हुकम सिंह मैं स्वयं हूँ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर अनिल कुमार चंगानी डॉक्टर सी उपेंद्र राव जे दिल्ली डॉक्टर एस जे एस फ्लोरा कनाडा डॉक्टर प्रेम आदेश लेखी अधीश लेखी डॉक्टर एम एम सक्सेना डॉक्टर राज नरन वारे डॉक्टर एस विजय कुमार डॉक्टर याहिया बख्तियार जम्मू कश्मीर अट्टूर अनुपम सक्सेना डॉक्टर के के शर्मा एक्स वी सी फ्रॉम अजमेर डॉक्टर अगम माथुर डॉक्टर रश्मि त्यागी डॉक्टर राजेंद्र पुरोहित डॉक्टर दिनेश शर्मा डॉक्टर मीरा श्रीवास्तव डॉक्टर जसविंदर एस संधु डॉक्टर रीतु श्रीवास्तव डॉक्टर अजय प्रकाश गुप्ता डॉक्टर मौना थमन फ्रॉम इजिप्ट डॉक्टर कलीम अरसन डॉक्टर अभिषेक मेहता डॉक्टर मोहम्मद आसिफ शाह डॉक्टर प्रज्ञेश परमार डॉक्टर अनिल मेहता जल पुरुष डॉक्टर शशि वर्मा डॉक्टर सत्येंद्र नाथ डॉक्टर रीना माथुर डॉक्टर रुचि शर्मा डॉक्टर राजीव रंजन और डॉक्टर प्रीति गुप्ता इस प्रकार 31 स्पीकर्स इस कॉन्फ्रेंस को प्रोग्राम को संबोधित करेंगे और मुझे आशा है कि समस्त मोर धन्य विद्वानों के विचारों से इनकी प्रेरणा से जगत को फायदा होगा लाभान्वित होगा संसार जो इस कॉन्फ्रेंस से जुड़ेंगे ऐसी मैं आशा करता हूँ इसके बाद आ, हमारा ये जो ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम है ये फर्स्ट है और ऐसे लगातार दस प्रोग्राम हमको करने हैं तो एक लंबी श्रृंखला है मैं आशा करता हूँ विद्वत समाज से आ, समस्त डेलीगेट्स रिसर्चर्स स्कॉलर्स से कि वो धैर्य के साथ हमारे एक के बाद एक जो हमारे ये प्रोग्राम चलेंगे इनमें शरीक हो हमारा मनोबल बढ़ाएं और सीखें और सिखाएं तीसरा हमारा ऑनलाइन ये इंटरनेशनल शॉर्ट टर्म ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम शुरू होगा दूसरा इम्पैक्ट एंड पेनेसिया ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन द पास्ट प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर ये बीस से छब्बीस अप्रैल दो को हम इसको प्रारंभ करेंगे आ, उसमें भी इसका पूरा कार्यक्रम हम आगे आपको प्रेषित करेंगे इसके लिए भी मैं प्रोफेसर ममता शर्मा को साधुवाद देता हूं और एक और विशेष बात क्योंकि ये सारे ऑनलाइन प्रोग्राम या कॉन्फ्रेंसेस करने का कारण कोविड उन्नीस पैंडेमिक है पूरा संसार इस बात को जानता है लेकिन मैंने प्रोफेसर ममता शर्मा को कहा कि ऑनलाइन बहुत हो गया एक ऑफलाइन प्रोग्राम भी होना चाहिए मैं संस्कृत का विद्यार्थी हूं और जो शिक्षकों से गुरु लोगों से जो मैंने आमने सामने बैठकर पढ़ा है सीखा है उसकी बदौलत मैं आज यहां हूं और वही मुझे ज़्यादा प्रेरित करता है और मैं ऐसा मानता भी हूँ कि अगर ऑनलाइन से ही सारा काम हो जाए तो फिर ये कॉलेज और स्कूल की क्या जरूरत है नहीं इन दोनों में मेजर डिफरेंट है जो बालक 
बालिका प्रोफेसर से आमने सामने बैठकर जो सीख सकता है वो ऑनलाइन से नहीं ऐसा मेरा मानना है हो सकता है विद्वत समाज मेरी बात से सहमत नहीं है जो ऑफलाइन हम प्रोग्राम कर रहे जा रहे हैं वो इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस है और इसका हमारा विषय होगा मल्टी डिसप्लिनरी अप्रोच टुवर्ड्स सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज फॉर ए वाइएबल फ्यूचर ये 11 से 13 अगस्त 2022 को इस महाराज भर्तरी की और अरावली की उपत्यका में बसे शहर अलवर में आयोजित करने का हमारा मन है आप सभी सुधी जनों से विद्वत जनों से मैं आग्रह करता हूँ कि आप सबका आशीर्वाद स्नेह हमें मिले और मुझे विश्वास से मिलेगा तो अब जो मैं ऑनलाइन आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ मैं चाहता हूँ कि आप लोग हमारे इस कार्यक्रम में पधारें और रूबरू हों एक दूसरे से तो हमें बड़ा गौरव महसूस होगा ये राजऋषि गवर्नमेंट ऑटोनोमस कॉलेज अलवर में आयोजित होगी 11 से तेरह अगस्त 2022 को मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि इन सारे प्रोग्राम्स को अटेंड करने के बाद एक बार परस्पर हम सबका मन होना चाहिए कि हम एक दूसरे से मिले एक दूसरे को देखें जय हिंद जय भारत Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. We value the insights and guidance you provide to all of us, and your words of encouragement keeps us motivated throughout. And your presence is very, very important to us. Now, I have someone with us who has been holding our hands in all thick and thins. The advisor of ISTTP one and the nodal officer, Rusa at RRC Alwar, Dr. Upendra Singh. Everyone. I am Dr. Upen Singh, Nodal Officer, Rusa, Rajeshi College, Alwar. I take great pleasure in announcing that Rajeshi College, Alwar, is hosting an international training of such high latitude. We have two five zero zero registrations with global participation of thirty countries. it brings me pride to be part of such an event i welcome all the delegates and give my best wishes for their training to be a great success thank you thank you dr upendra singh for your kind words your words are very timely trust me and encouraging and your presence is a bliss to us now we have short clip of our esteemed speakers who will share their views with you regarding the training and their good wishes with us from all over the world so let's look at that raj rishi college alwar one of the rajasthan's premier colleges organized a successful conference on multidisciplinary aspects of environmental and sustainable development after the covid-19 pandemic in the month of december last year the conference was organized by a team of professionals led by professor hukum singh sahib including dr mamta sharma and dr muskan datta the international conference was well organized and we had the opportunity to interact with the experienced senior teachers and young talented researchers from around the world the college is now again going to organize an international short term training program focusing on recent advances in environmental toxicology and wildlife conservation which is a 7 days training program starting from 22nd of march to 28th of march to disseminate the knowledge among the young minds as far as the schedule i have received i have seen almost 29 keynote addresses which are to be delivered in these very 7 days training program so this is a tremendous opportunity and i thank the organizing committee for allowing me to present a keynote address at this international workshop i am delighted to be a part of this very event and wish organizing committee the best of luck and i I am very much sure 
that this this very workshop will provide a platform for the young minds to inculcate knowledge from the from the experienced researchers scientists which are going to deliver their experience lecture during this course of time i wish i wish best of luck i wish a grand success to the organizing committee for organizing such workshops thank you thank you very much greetings to everyone my name is dr raj nara navre a faculty member in the faculty of nursing mckeown university edmonton alberta canada i wish to extend my best wishes to the team of the raj rishi college alwar including professor hukam singh and dr professor mamta sharma for the initiative on the climate change and the toxicology by initiating the workshop on the climate change and the toxicology the climate change is a pressing need of the current time and undertaking the initiative such as organizing this workshop on the climate change and the toxicology by the team of raj rishi college is applaudable thank you so much environmental toxicology and wildlife conservation are very important subject of today i am happy to note that raj rishi college of alwar is going to organize an international training program from 22nd march to 28th march this is first series in this 10 series of international program and uh, learners and the participants could be able to understand the modern technologies related to environmental toxicology and wildlife conservation my all the best wishes for the organizers of this program thank you very much मैं डॉक्टर शशि वर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर राजनीति विज्ञान विभाग महारानी सुदर्शन कन्या महाविद्यालय मुझे आप सभी को सूचित करते हुए अत्यंत हर्ष की अनुभूति हो रही है कि राजस्थान के अति प्रतिष्ठित महाविद्यालय राज ऋषि महाविद्यालय के जुलॉजी विभाग के अंतर्गत 22 मार्च से 28 मार्च 2022 तक एक सात दिवसीय कार्यशाला का आयोजन किया जा रहा है इस कार्यशाला का विषय रहेगा रिसेंट एडवांटेज इन एनवायरमेंटल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वर्ल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन इस कार्यशाला का आयोजन महाविद्यालय के प्राचार्य डॉक्टर हुकम सिंह जी एवं उच्च शिक्षा एवं रिसर्च को समर्पित डॉक्टर ममता शर्मा के निर्देशन में किया जा रहा है इससे पूर्व भी डायनामिक प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर ममता शर्मा द्वारा तीन दिवसीय एक सफल ई कॉन्फ्रेंस का आयोजन किया जा चुका है इस कॉन्फ्रेंस के अंतर्गत 24 देशों के प्रतिभागियों ने भाग लिया इस कॉन्फ्रेंस में जितने भी पत्रों का वाचन हुआ उन सभी पत्रों को आठ पुस्तकों के माध्यम से प्रकाशित किया जा रहा है जिस तरीके से डॉक्टर ममता शर्मा के निर्देशन में एक सफल ई कॉन्फ्रेंस का आयोजन हुआ उसी तरीके से इस कार्यशाला का भी आयोजन रहेगा इस कार्यशाला के लिए 2500 से अधिक प्रतिभागियों ने रजिस्ट्रेशन करवा दिया है तथा 30 से अधिक देशों के प्रतिभागियों के जुड़ने की आशा है मुझे पूर्ण विश्वास है कि ये कार्यशाला का आयोजन बहुत ही सफल रहेगा इस कार्यशाला की सफलता के लिए मैं ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करती हूँ धन्यवाद Words are inadequate to thank all the speakers who have shared their vision about the training and sent their best wishes to us. We are glad to have you all with us. Now, program coordinator, please go ahead. Hello, everyone. Raj Rishi College extends a hearty welcome to all our esteemed speakers, participants, and distinguished guests. I am Ms. Kandata, the program coordinator of ISTTP One. Environment sustains life on Earth. destroying it means not only wreaking havoc on our survival but demolishing the very life essence of this planet through these small steps we hope to reach as many people as we can to raise awareness ring out harsh truths and look for solutions 
so that we have a world to pass on to our children. Before we move further, we would like to discuss with you the aim of our upcoming short-term training program and what we wish to accomplish with it. The training program mainly aims to provide an academic platform for academicians, scientists, engineers, researchers, professionals, practitioners and consultants to present and discuss their latest findings about recent advances in environmental toxicology and wildlife conservation. Relevance of the proposed training program will be highlighted through a series of 29 training sessions to be delivered by prominent industry, academia and wildlife expert. So to simply put it in Theodore Roosevelt's words, the wildlife and its habitat cannot speak. So we must and we will. Well, it's time to let our participants know about our panel of speakers who will grace the occasion and subsequently the minute-to-minute -minute schedule for the seven-day training program. Over to you, ma'am. Now, me and my program coordinator is here to discuss with you minute-to-minute -minute program. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And that's the reason we all are here together. It is so much well said by Margaret Mead. The training program will begin with the inauguration and unveiling of the training manual by our patron and principal, Professor Dr. Hukam Sechi. This will be followed by our first keynote address, which will be delivered by Dr. Anil Kumar Changani, who is the head of the Department, Environmental Science and Director of Gandhian Studies Center, Maharaja Ganga Singh University, Pikane, Rajasthan, India. We will then have the second keynote address by Dr. C. Upendra Rao, who is a professor of Sanskrit and Pali in the School of Sanskrit and Indic Studies at JNU, New Delhi, India. This will soon then be followed by our third keynote address, which will be delivered by Dr. S.J.S. Flora, who is the ex-director, National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Raibarili, Lucknow Campus, Uttar Pradesh, India. After that, we will have our fourth keynote address, which will be given by Dr. Prem Adish Lekhi, who is a member of Doc to Us COVID-19 Task Force Malaysia. The first day will then be concluded by the free forum and feedback and this session will be conducted by the organizing secretary. Only when the last tree has died and the last river has been poisoned and the last fish been caught will we realize we cannot eat money. Now, the beginning of the second day We'll start with a short recap of the first day of the training, followed by our fifth keynote address delivered by Dr. M. M. Saxena, Vice Chancellor of Tantia University, Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan, India. We will then have the sixth keynote address by Dr. Rajnar Navare from Department of Human Health and Science, Faculty of Nursing at Macquarie University in Edmonton, Canada. This will soon be followed by the seventh keynote address, which will be delivered by Dr. S. Vijay Kumar, who is a postdoctoral research scientist at the Marine College in Shandong University in Weihai, China. The proceedings of the day will then be followed by the eighth keynote address, which will be given by Dr. Yahya Bhaktiar, an assistant professor in Department of Zoology and working in the Fish Biology and Limnology Research Laboratory in University of Kashmir, Srinagar, India. This will be followed by the ninth keynote address, delivered by attorney Anupam Saxena, a lawyer and reform cosmetology toxicologist from Darussalam, Tanzania. The second day will then be concluded by the free forum and feedback conducted by our organizing secretary. The truth is, the natural world is changing and we are totally dependent on that world and we always forget that. It provides our food, water and air and it is the most precious thing
things we have and we need to defend it. It is so much well said by David Attenborough. So we are here to discuss the day three. Day three will begin with a short recap of the second day of the training, which will be followed by our 10th keynote address, and it is to be delivered by my esteemed teacher, Dr. K.K. Sharma, who is the former Vice Chancellor, MBS University, Ajmer, Rajasthan, India. We will then have the 11th keynote address by Dr. Agam Mathu, who is the Managing Director, Saraswati Technical Services, and he is also a retired Chief Engineer, Public Health Engineering Department, Jaipur, Rajasthan, India. This will then soon be followed by our 12th keynote address, which will be deliver delivered by Dr. Rashmi Tyagi, who is an educationist and a social worker from Indian Institute of Technology, Rurki, India. The proceedings of the day will then be followed by 13th keynote address, which will be given by Dr. Rajinder Prohit, who is a radiation toxicologist and at present he is the head of the department zoology, Government Dungar College, Bikaner, Rajasthan, India. This will then be followed by a special lecture, which is the charm of this training which will be spoken by Dr. Dinesh Sharma, who is a motivational speaker from Alwar, Rajasthan, India, and he would be talking on encouragement and motivation, and I think in the present time, we need it max. Uh, day 3 will then be concluded by the free forum and the feedback, which will be conducted by the organizing secretary of the ISTTP. Now, to quote in Ross Perot's words, the activist is not the man who says the river is dirty. The activist is the man who cleans up the river. Day 4 will begin with a short recap of the third day of the training, followed by a 14th keynote address delivered by Dr. Meera Srivastava. She has been the former principal of Government College Lunkar Ransar and former head of Department of Zoology, Dungar College B. Kale. We will then have the 15th keynote address delivered by Dr. Jaswinder S. Sandhu, ex-assistant professor from PAU Ludhiana and a true wildlife conservationist at heart, currently residing in Brampton, Canada. This will soon be followed by the 16th keynote address, which will be delivered by Dr. Ritu Srivastava, deputy director, teaching and learning, and assistant professor of economics at SP Jain School of Global Management, Mumbai, India. The proceedings of the day will then be followed by the 17th keynote address, which will be given by Dr. Ajay Prakash Gupta, the person in charge of Drug Testing Laboratory, QMI, CSIR Indian Institute of Integrated Medicine, Jammu, India. The fourth day will then be concluded by the free forum and feedback conducted by our organizing secretary. Now we come to day 5. It's not whether the animal will survive, it's whether man has the will to save them because on the earth right now, man is the smartest animal and he's ruling it like anything. So it's totally dependent on him whether he really wants to save the wildlife. Day 5 will begin with a short recap of the fourth day of the training which will be followed by our 18th keynote address which will be delivered by Dr. Mona Taman. Dr. Mona Taman is a vice chairman of Future Leaders International Group and she is from Egypt. This will be then soon followed by our 19th keynote address by Dr. Kaleem Arshan who is the assistant professor biotechnology Islamia College Tamil Nadu India. We will then have the 20th keynote address by Dr. Abhishek Mehta. Dr. Mehta is an assistant professor in IT and computer science at Parul University, Parodhara, Gujarat, India. The proceedings of the day will then be followed by the 21st keynote address, which will be given by Dr. Muhammad Ashif Shah. He is from Kebrid Debar University, Ethiopia. 
The day 5th will then be concluded by the free forum and the feedback which will be conducted by the organizing secretary of ISTTD. So now again to quote in Greta Thunberg's words, to all of you who choose to look the other way every day because you seem more frightened of the changes that can prevent catastrophic climate change than the catastrophic climate change itself, your silence is worst of all. So it's time to speak up. Day 6 will begin with a short recap of the fifth day of the training followed by our 22nd keynote address delivered by Dr. Pragnesh Parma, who is an additional professor and head of department Forensic Medicine and Toxicology at Ames B.B. Nagar, Hyderabad, India. This will soon be followed by the 23rd keynote address by Dr. Anil Mehta, also known as the Jal Purush. He is the principal at Vidya Bhavan Polytechnic College, Udaipur, Rajasthan, India. We will then have the 24th keynote address by Dr. Shashi Varma. She is an Associate Professor of Political Science in Government Maharani Sudarshan College, Bikane, Rajasthan, India. The proceedings of the day will then be followed by the 25th keynote address, which will be delivered by Dr. Satyendra Nath, Assistant Professor of Environmental Science and NRM, College of Forestry, Sam Higginbottom University of Agriculture, Technology and Sciences, Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh, India. Day 6 will then be concluded by the free forum and feedback conducted by our organizing secretary. Now, day 7. It is our collective and individual responsibility to preserve and save the world in which we all live. It is so much well said by the Lai Lama. Why we are so partial? We beautify our home, we make it pretty, we save it from everything and imagine we are just killing our mother nature. Why are we like that? It's a thought and I'll leave it to you. So day 7 will begin with a short recap of the 6th day of the training which will be followed by our 26th keynote address which will be delivered by someone I look up to, someone which is my motivation and trust me, she is the best teacher on the earth, Dr. Rina Mathur. She is a professor, former head of the department of zoology from University of Rajasthan, Jaipur, India. We will then have 27th keynote address by Dr. Ruchi Sharma, who is a professor and director, Javran Lake City University from Bhopal, India. This will be soon followed by 28th keynote address which will be delivered by Dr. Rajiv Ranjan. Dr. Ranjan is a assistant professor of chemistry, Dr. Sharma Prasad Mukherjee University, Ranchi, Charkhand, India. The proceedings of the day will then be followed by 29th keynote address which will be given by Dr. Preeti Gupta who is an associate professor in zoology and right now teaching in LBS Government College, Kotputli, Rajasthan, India. The day 7 will then be concluded by the valedictory session and this will be the last day of our ISTTP one Now we would like to inform the participants that the training program will be conducted virtually on Google Meet and the link will be shared on the Telegram and WhatsApp groups for the participants to join. The link will remain same for all seven days of the training to avoid any hassle. We hope that all the information shared has reached all our participants. We need the support of each and every person connected to us to make this training program a success. With this, we come to an end of the curtain raiser and we will now see you all live from the campus of RRC Alwar at 11 a.m. on 22nd March 2022 with 30 countries and 2,500 delegates participating from all over the world in ISTTP-1. We would like to request all the international participants to keep in tune with our Indian Standard Time as we would be hosting this training program from India. 
With this, your host for today, Dr. Mamda Sharma and Ms. Khan Rata, signing off from the campus of RRC Alwar. And don't forget, be kind to Mother Nature. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.